welcome back to my channel recently because I apparently hate myself. I've been going through my several hundred pan watercolor palette and swatching out all the convenience colors by whatever their first pigment number is. Today we are on violet. It's a pretty small collection, surprisingly not a lot of convenience colors start with PV. So we're going to label the sheet and then we'll get into swatching. So here's our lovely labeled sheet. First up is Cause Paints Aqua Rose PV14 PG7. This is a pretty common pigment number to have in mixes with the PV14. And several of them have it. Cause Paints Viola is up next. This color, whenever I post it, people absolutely love it and for good reason. It is a stunning granulating color. It is PV14, PB28. I love this color. I've done an entire video just on this color because it's fantastic. Cosmic Creations Vertiberry is PV14, PG50. It is up next. I've also done an entire video just on this color because it is such a fun color. Cosmic Creation Spring Mist was a test color for the Morning Meadows palette. It did not end up in the Morning Meadows palette because it dried really hard and was too hard to activate, but I love it. It's so pretty. It is PV14, PB36. And then we have the color that actually ended up in the palette, which is PV14, PB36. B36, which is Morning Mist. And you can just see like how different those colors are. The one that can activate nicely and the one that doesn't. Which is why it's so important if you're a small shop to have other people test your formulation. This activated fine for Laura, but once it had sat for a few weeks, it was just too hard to activate. Then we have White Nights Lavender, PV15, PB29, and PW6. Then we have Holbein Lavender, which is the exact same pigment number. Which is sort of fun. We have Cosmic Creations Lava Lizard, one of my favorite granulating colors Laura makes. I don't know if I've let it sit long enough, which is PV16 PO73. I've not let it sit long enough. It is a stunning granulating orange color. my fault for being impatient. <laughs> then we have Shiminke Galaxy Pink PV16 PR30, PBR33. I do really enjoy Galaxy Pink purely because I think it's really fun that they get this super vivid uh, sort of dark pink color with a brown pigment added to the mix. We have Addison and Sedwig's Mama Jolie which is PV19 PV23 and PR102. It's a really pretty dark granulating purple. We have White Knight's Lilac.
which is PV19 and PW6. We have Rosa Gallery's Violet Black, PV19, PBK7, PR108, which is similar to their black grape, except it has uh, red undertones instead of blue undertones. And I do like that they've got a version that's sort of each way. We have Violet Shadows by White Knights, which is PV23, PBK11. I think it's pretty interesting that at some point they must have changed because this is the pigment number on an old tube set I was gifted by a family member, but the pan set that I was gifted more recently, the pigment numbers are swapped. So I don't know if they updated the pigment number at some point or what, but they do look slightly different swatched. Addison and Sedwig's Inca is PV42 and PR259 and is a stunning hot pink. And really, I don't think you can go wrong with her. There was dark purple still in my brush. Which say I don't think you can go wrong with a hot pink. But apparently, it's still purple in the brush. We have Schmincke Volcano Violet PV62 PR108. There we go. We'll let this page dry and then we'll go through and figure out which ones are my favorites. All right, the Lava Lizard was my bad. I had grabbed an old pan, which was when she was testing the formulation and not the actual pan out of my palette. So I've now swatched the actual pan out of my palette and it looks much nicer. It still doesn't look great, but that's because I couldn't lift all of the old stuff underneath. So. Cause Paints Aqua Rose. I like, like it's got little pockets of blue, but if I was rebuilding this palette from scratch, I don't know if it's the first color I'd add. Viola and Vertiberry, definitely love them. Spring Mist, I absolutely love. It's this really pale blue that just has these pockets of purple. Stunning. Same with Morning Mist. It's a much darker version. The pockets of blue are much more prominent, but still, I absolutely love it. White Knights Lavender and Holbein Lavender. I desperately want to love this color and I just don't. I've got like six different versions of it in my palette from a variety of brands and I just don't love it. Lava Lizard. I do really like, this isn't the best swatch of it, but it is a super fun color. Schmincke Galaxy Pink is, I don't know, I always go back and forth on this. In the $300 palette video, I ended up switching this out for Potter's Pink because it's a more versatile dark pink. And that's still sort of how I feel, like there are better dark pinks out there, but it's the fun pink. Mama Jolie, super fun, dark purple. Absolutely love it. Part of the Series of the World 4 collection. So I don't know that it's still around. White Knight's Lilac. I feel the same about it as I do with the other White Knight's colors specifically the pastels where when I got them I really love them I still use them but not as much as I once did and so they probably wouldn't be the first additions to my palette violet black absolutely love again the only colors I really like from Rosa galleries are the violets or sorry the black colors and the gray colors and so violet black fits into that and I just really like it uh, Violet Shadows, so easy to mix yourself. It's just the purple and the black. I did it in my mixing a series from just a photo video and it was super easy. Inca by Addison and Sedwigs. I love, or Addison and Sedwick. I love this hot pink. It's one of my favorite hot pinks in my entire palette. Volcano Violet. I have an issue with the entire Volcano series. I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but this watch is shiny. This watch is shiny because 
These colors are so binder heavy that the binder just sort of sits on top or makes a halo around the edge. It's not just me who has an issue or this issue with it. I've spoken to friends, they have the same issue with this set. It's just something about this set, the binder ratio is off and you get like these weird shimmery binder pockets. And so I don't love this color for that reason. Mixing this color yourself, great color. This color from Schmincke, not my favorite. So I probably would not repurchase it simply because I don't like how the binder acts in it. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. Let me know what other violet mixes you have in your palette that you think I should consider adding. I'm always looking for new suggestions of things to test out. It's so much fun to test new paints. And at this point, <laughs> it's sort of what I do as my job. So I'm always looking for some new suggestions of things to try out. And thanks for watching.